In this problem, we have a situation where a physics professor is going to blow air over a penny, reducing the pressure above the penny, lifting it off the table. Once it gets caught in the airstream, it will be blown horizontally into the box. Our goal is to find the velocity of the air that causes the lift force to be greater than the weight of the penny. Here are our forces acting on the penny. We can calculate the weight of the penny based on its mass. The weight of the penny is 0.0343 newtons. Now we can use Newton's second law to find the force of lift. Substitute in our unknowns, isolate our lift force, and solve. We now have our lift force. We will use this force later to help us find the velocity of the air. We want to now take a look at the pressure above and below the penny. Remember that lift is produced when the pressure below is greater than the pressure above. We will use Bernoulli's equation to solve this problem. Since the height differential above and below the penny is negligible, the equation simplifies down. The velocity below the penny is zero, so we can eliminate it from the equation. After eliminating V1 and subtracting P2 from both sides, we can now isolate V2. Let's rewrite P1 minus P2 as delta P. From our previous studies of pressure, we know that the change in pressure is equal to the force over the area. Our force is the lift force, and the area is that of the penny. We can substitute in our values. Here we change the penny's diameter into its radius, dividing by 2 to get the area. The velocity of the air must reduce the pressure above the penny by 134.79 pascals to lift the penny off the ground. We will first isolate V2 and then plug this value back into our equation and solve for the velocity. Now we just have to place the box at the correct distance to catch the penny. 